The idea of trying to stop people from becoming terrorists is quite a conundrum. On one hand, we don't want bad information and very deadly ideologies being spread. Because, well, I mean, the more people that hear those kinds of ideologies, the more chance that someone who has a messed up kind of mindset or has mental issues could hear it and act out on that. On the other hand, if we shove viewpoints like that underground, then people who already have those kinds of beliefs will start to feel marginalized and feel like they're not going to get heard unless they do something extreme. So that's quite a conundrum. Almost damned if you do, damned if you don't. Now, I'm of the mindset that it's probably best that we allow unfortunate ideologies to be heard so we can form reasonable arguments against them. If we allow some of these white nationalists to say what they have to say, we can form decent arguments against them. But the route that things seem to be going, especially in the UK, is the idea of censoring the internet, censoring social media. Theresa May has recently said this. So today, we're putting a legal duty of care on these companies to keep users safe. And if they fail to do so, tough punishments will be imposed. The era of social media firms regulating themselves is over. It's time to do things differently. It's time to keep our children safe. Can't remember how many pages the, the document is, but it's trying to focus on social media, message boards, even search engines, just about anywhere where they're trying to stop things like, uh, you know, disinformation, fake news, bullying, and just overall things that a lot of people consider objectionable. And that's the part that really makes it rough. The things that will be considered objectionable will expand. We, we know that, that it will expand. It's concerning. Just think about how people react here in the United States, which isn't the UK, but when people say that the United States is a melting pot, that we have a common culture, and that other, other people from other countries with different cultures come to this country, there needs to be a certain amount of assimilation, and that the primary culture here will do cultural appropriation from some of the other cultures. Look how people react to just that. People are labeling that as white supremacy. They're saying it's a white supremacist patriarchy. Well, I imagine the same thing is going on in Britain when people say something to the idea of keep British culture British. Well, that's automatically called white nationalism. So, I mean, yes, this the types of things that will be considered objectionable will expand. How far will it expand? And we also know that if the UK does it, then other countries will follow suit. I don't like the idea. I don't like the idea of censoring the internet. But that seems to be the route that people are going. What happens once we censor the internet enough and there ends up being an uptick in terrorism from some of the mindsets that we're trying to squash, what do we do then? Do we emulate the UK and squash it even more like how the UK, they, they've decided, you know, no, no guns. Oh, well, now everyone's using knives and knives, uh, violence with knives goes up. 
So what are they trying to do? They're trying to ban knives. And now they're trying to give people, they're trying to give police the authority to just search any person anytime they want for knives, for potential weapons. They don't even have to have a, a dec a, they don't even have to have a reason. They can just search someone. Wow. That's kind of scary. But that kind of mindset they're wanting to apply to the internet. And I think that's kind of scary. Because we know that companies, there will be a number of companies that will, that will censor before the UK gets its chance to take over some of the, some parts of these businesses. You know, they're going to censor first. They're going to give in to these, these demands. So what will social media be like in a few years? I don't know. I don't like where it's going, though. But again, it, we get this conundrum. What's going to stop these sorts of acts? Is it going to be stopping, trying to stop the flow of information? Or allowing it to flourish so we can get reasonable arguments against it? I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I just wish it wasn't quite the conundrum that it is. Anyway.